one's not bad. At least how big it is. But as far as I look, it'd be weird. There's a lot of running water. A lot of running water. This place is tricky as fuck. Who the hell designed this place? I didn't know Bowser was so much of the nature. Ah! Oh, fuck! Oh, okay, thank God. What's the matter, afraid of heights? Fuck you! Would you like to fall down again? No. I'm good. I'm good. Please. You're at my mercy. Always remember that. If there's one thing I'm afraid of, it's space. The vastness of space. <laughs> ah, so what you're telling me is you want to uh, experience what it's like to be in a black hole. Oh god, no! You monster! Wee! Fuck you! Oh, there's a room with all these Bezos later. It freaking sucks. I think it's World 4 2. Yeah, this game could definitely be tortures in sub segments. These panthers aren't bad, thankfully. Green panthers just stand there and shoot them vertically upward. Or red will fire them in an arc. There's one worse version of panthers, though. I think we'll run into them in World 5. Or this world. Or this level, for all I know. I think they're blue. Basically. They fire like the reds, but move. Oh, it's pink. Never mind. So that, basically. Yes. That's what they do. Fun. Oh, a clock. Thanks. Oh, fun. Should've put the first one. Fuck! You! It was probably the other end, too. We can rewind and say fuck it and get that mushroom anyway. Let's just move it up. <laughs> We're going what down this See, that was just a... Fuck. I'll try it again. <laughs> you don't have to interrupt me from filling this thing. Or not. Hey, you know what? Okay, never mind. Huh. You can't pull that... Oh, it was probably just to pluck the plants out to get coins. That's probably all it was. Yeah, sometimes they do have that. I mean... And that's why these panthers fucking suck. Yeah, and your growing objects get blocked by ladders, too. Also fun. Also, hi, Birdo. Now you don't have an object of... Oh, you do have objects behind her. Depends on how much you're willing to brute force Birdo, though. Fuck! All fireballs. Wow. <laughs> oh, God, you should have rewind. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We've already gotten this far. Don't tell me what to do. I want to do it over in the beginning. God damn it, Mario, don't start this whole game over. You should kind of play the whole game as me. It's Super Mario Brothers, I'm Super Luigi Brothers. Do I need to throw you down the pit? I'm good. I'm just saying, who, who, who had their last name Luigi? That's just stupid. Mario Luigi? I hate that idea so much. <laughs> I would hope you'd never do such a thing to me. Ah! Okay, okay. I'm not taking name change, though. Whoever said you were gonna get choice? No! Don't do this to me! Ow. Give the Mushroom Kingdom the world the hero deserves. Sorry, the Hedgehog. Oh, wait, Peach rules this world. You know what? They do deserve you. Exactly! Now it turns out to be Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> <laughs> wait, that. Oh, fuck! Gotta go fast! Oh, god damn it. Fuck him again. That fucking guy. No, something better. Crash Bandicoot. Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! Hey, hey plumber guy! I just heard you were uh, in the pl uh, buffering business, and guess <laughs> what? So, so did I. You probably don't know who I am. This motherfucker stalks me outside of my house, too. Like, what a fucking dick! Yeah, it sounds like a complete ass. <laughs> I forgot that was an old school PlayStation 1 ad. <laughs> yeah. I love that. That's right. Crash Bandicoot trashing. <laughs> Just being an asshole, that was that was pretty good. I mean, a lot of the old gaming ads were pretty good. Ow! Wait, now you don't feel bad. You're right, I don't. Yeah, by the way, someone mentioned I should just say straight up. If you kill Birdo and then off-screen her spawning point, she can revive. Which I learned the hard way. <laughs> Does she, um... If I off-screen her... And I just did one damage, or did you still have one damage? Or? I think so. I think it's only if you kill. 
Yeah, that's what sucks about this room in particular. That's also what sucks about the eggs. If they rebound off the wall, they're still considered projectiles. God damn it. God damn it! I just want to kill Have myself. Have you forgotten how to play the game, man? Yes. No! <laughs> What's a game? Is that a sandwich? God! <laughs> we can't even go further and further back with you. You're probably right. I got this situation. Well, I'll start with... Don't even get... God damn it! No, before that. Let me just start with from the beginning, just so that I can have some semblance of... Oh, you mother... You're the worst. No, before that... <laughs> Go back to 1-1. One, one. No, before that! Wait, what? Oh, congratulations, they're twins! There we go! This is when it all started! <laughs> oh, God! Actually, before that... Oh! Damn you, burning bitch! Well, you do have health now. Yeah, it does suck. You have those weapons in the corner, but you can't use them until she pins you down! It's always just nice to remember. She fires a series of threes. If the egg's a third, you don't have to worry about anything else coming at you. You are not going to ruin me now. Not now, not ever. I was just talking before you had me had two lives. I mean, to be fair, with uh, the save coming trick, I basically have infinite lives. That is also true. Yeah, I think when we did this game for Kodos channel, I think I played most of it, if I remember correctly. <laughs> he had a trouble trying to figure out a lot of mechanics, too. Because again, if you're used to Old Mario, this game is definitely a weird, it's a weird pill to swallow. Can't wait till we get to Mario Wonder. We gotta get through Mario 3D World first. Yeah. God damn it, I have no money! You bankrupted me, you son of a bitch! Let's keep going. Good, you finally understand reason. Is that ostrich? What the fuck? Well, it's dead now. Ow! So are you. I just wanna do that spite. <laughs> You're a jerk. I will never die, though. What the? <laughs> well, that's one way to reset our character choices. Right, ostrich. Jeez. That's really good she's how it does pull a lot of the enemies from this game in there. I mean that's essentially where a lot of this sort of solidified in a way. Yeah. Yeah, think about how many um Oh yeah, those panthers suck. I mean, the only enemy that came back from this in Mario 3, I think, was the Bobs. Yeah. And shy guys. No wait. Mm -hmm. You're right, you're right. They weren't Mario World either. I forgot. That was a uh, Yoshi's Island, yeah. Yep. Shy guys are Yeah, really, a lot of the stuff from Yoshi uh, from this game you they didn't really get reused until Yoshi's Island in particular. Yep. Only the bombs came in Mario 3, and they weren't that useful in Mario 3, not like they are in this game. Alright, that's cool. As long as you don't kick me, we're good. Oh, they're in the ground. Okay, that's, um, different. Fuck you. Wow. I feel very angry right now. I feel like viol- I'm tempted to choose violence right now. Violence is the answer. Mario was right. They all deserve death. See? You're finally learning why I hate these fucking dickheads. Ah! Always be prepared for the frickin' bomb. Blow up in your face. You drop it on the ladder, by the way. Just stand still for the ladder and press B, you drop it down. Fuck! Don't you dare do that to me again. No promises. Yeah, he's gotta drop like the right spot, I think. Oh, it's like just going a little too far forward. Or maybe you can't. Maybe you have to go around. Yeah, you might go take bombs and go the other way around. Yeah, that might be what it is. Yeah, I think you gotta jump down on the mats what it is. For some reason I thought you could drop them down ladders. I guess not. Maybe that's advanced exclusive? Or all-stars. I don't remember. Also, you can't be in front of a wall when you drop something. And I don't have enough bombs. Oh yeah, I guess you don't. 
God damn it, we gotta start from the beginning. The problem with I got in this situation, I fucking hate my life. There, problem solved. I hate my life. That's one way to, um, bring the point across. Grow forward! Ooh, that's gonna be one hell of a run. Oh god! No! Okay, might wanna use those upper bombs to get rid of more of those walls first. The problem with I got in this situation, god damn it! Why does this keep happening? What have you done to me? Good question. Why do I feel small? Oh, Luigi. Way before you had your own mansion, you were just a little bitch who couldn't even throw things as far as Mario could. And yet you could jump further. And something didn't take advantage of yet until... Oh, right, they did technically have his mechanics like this in friggin' lost levels. How can I forget? Ooh, nice. There you go, you made it through the cavern. I think all we're doing is making our way to a mushroom. Maybe. I think. I know that, this is what- Heart! Oh, oh you thank god. Me. I'm not- I'm, I will never die, god damn it. Just for that. <laughs> you love me! You all really love me! No! Yeah. <laughs> god damn it, shy guys. Hmm, I wanted to say you could go across a gap to the left over there. Might be a shortcut for you, so you don't have to go across wherever this is. Oh, not like it matters. <laughs> Oh, now you gotta time the bomb drop. I guess you don't need save stage for it. A little later. A little later. God damn it, I feel like it's gonna blow up in my face. Ah, never mind. Oh god, I don't think he can get through. Never mind. I was gonna say, I thought the game was gonna be enough to dick to not let you go through that wall. Knowing how NES games are, I could have put it a possibility. Oh, yeah! One of these holds a mushroom, I think. One of those bees on the inside. And of course, there's only one. Well, I picked the wrong one. I hate my life. Well, let's get that bomb and blow up the other one! Wow. Don't you love it when you just cheat at life? Don't think about it. <laughs> Here, let me see. Let me just try to feel bad. I'm cheating in a video game. Well, I'm not trying to prove anything. I just want to experience this game and its history. That's all I want to do. Yeah. <laughs> if I was playing for confidence, I'd be playing a different game. Like Mega Man X7. God damn it! <laughs> well, you go all the way up that ladder, I think. Yup, that's your way out of here, yup. That one could be kind of hard to notice. Birdo again. Damn, this bitch really gets around. I'm a guy! Yeah, yeah, sure you are. Why doesn't anybody be out? Believe me, damn it! I don't believe you. I never will. Oh, wait, I meant to say I'm a girl. Fuck. Well, at least you admit it. Fuck you. Don't ruin me! It just reminded you of the kill Birdo. In case you think you can go through without killing Birdo. No. You need to get the crystal orb to unlock the gate. Until I almost back. thought I had a clever idea. Unfortunately, it's really high, and because Bruno keeps spitting things at you, it doesn't always work out well. Hanging on a wall for the egg is a good idea, because it bounces off the wall, so you actually have a little more time to actually jump on it. There you go. Yeah, that's a good tactic to get as well. Pick up an item and then move it to the side. Sometimes it can really help you do some crazy traversal stuff Ooh, you. got my egg! Survive more easily. No bonus! Time for three free! Oh, right, we're on our last life, too. Should probably do it. I mean, not like it really matters, we're just gonna be rewinding like mad anyway. Hey, it keeps things simple! Yeah. I don't mind simple, damn it! I was weird to think, both Lord Brothers 2 didn't have multiplayer at all. In any shape or form. Oh wow, actual the bombs! And there's no fucking mushroom here. Thanks. Yeah, I think you might have to move up a little bit in this one. This is kind of a pain in the ass one. Yeah, just remember, once you pick up an object, you gotta keep holding B. If you're trying to run. The moment you press B again, you throw it. 
That might be good. I think. Right there? This feels like too much. Yeah, it might be too much. Never mind. You were right. God damn it. Well, yeah, all day you experiment where to find the fucking thing. God damn it. Okay, it's not here. Actually, it might be back in the beginning where the potion was made. Oh, yeah, that's where it might be. It might be backwards. Yeah, sometimes it'd be a little weird. Oh, uh, yeah. Again, you have to be experimental with this. Use your imagination. It's literally pretty close where the potion was pulled. God damn it! You did this to me. I would I died to a dead bird. Fucking bird. Next dungeon. Oh, look, a shortcut. That's neat. <laughs> I keep forgetting every, the last level of every single world is a dungeon. Although, a couple of them are skippable. I think the one in World 4 and 6 you can skip. And World 6 is, is very easy to get around. Oh, running ninjas jump when you get close to them. That's what, how it works. I need a key. Then again, I'm pretty sure the World 6 skip is pretty famous in this game. Actually, the World 4 one is, too, because you need Luigi or Peach in particular for skipping World 4's dungeon. Huh, neat. World 6? You can use anybody. Level wrapping. Makes it so much easier. You know, I do miss that some 2D platformers never take advantage of level wrapping anymore. Yeah. What? And again, I guess they're more for trying to have the world feel normal. Yeah, I would... For a lot of people, they look at the uh, 2D level wrapping and find that as like some sort of arcade design. It's like my bro says in every game, the world is flat. God, God. damn it. What? It's not? Has he been lying to me this whole time? Go read a book. Go look at a globe. What the hell is a globe? I don't even know a map. Take a look, it's in a book. Wow. I only know maps. You would. I'm sorry, I don't go anywhere! That's true. The bird always leaves you behind. It wouldn't be nice to have a main Mario Adventure starring Luigi that's not just Luigi's Mansion. But again, I guess that's kind of the point. Luigi kind of gets his own brand of adventure. And having a traditional Mario game that doesn't have Mario in it. You know, considering how the joke is that it's always Luigi's Mansion, it's always the spin-off I like to imagine a joke about. Here, let's, uh, Luigi's, uh, Luigi's spin-off, real estate. <laughs> I was always looking to be the Monopoly guy. Alright, I'll give you later. Hey! What do you think you're doing? Okay. Hey, is that my key? What are you doing with that? I will get you for that. No! How about to fuck you? I don't like your kind. Never have. Also, nice thing to remember, I think running jumps give you more height as well. As would probably be expected, but just figured I'd formally say it just in case. Yep, momentum is a thing. Doing momentum before Sonic the Hedgehog. Suck it, you blue fuck. Yeah, that's true. And Mario 3 almost did momentum because they had sliding down hills and they had the friggin' running gauge for the P meter. Yep. Hey, Mario World also had a P meter. It just didn't really mean much of anything. In fact, it was basically invisible. Yep. God damn it, where the hell am I? Yeah, this stuff's just a little weird to get around. It's like a giant maze. Yep. Yeah, I think you want to get up to the top. I think it's where the end of this level is. I think. Oh. Well, as long as you're at the top and keep holding up once you get to every rope chain, you'll be fine. Stupid fire flowers. I don't think you can't use the power of fire flowers at all, but. Oh. In fact, they have rebounding ammo actually do damage. Not a lot of games to have. Think about ammo like that. Hit a wall, it's still effective. Get the hell out of here! Long live the king! Oh, for fuck's sake! Oh, right, it's just two different rooms that are kind of linked together. I do- you do want to keep going up, though. That was basically a part of- point of, like, preference. 
Hazard Walls. The doors basically let you choose what room you'd rather go through. What? Until... What the fuck? Yeah, sometimes the screen loading's weird, too. I can definitely hear you got on a ladder. <laughs> there was no ladder in sight at all. Luigi imagining there's a ladder to climb? I'm great at air walking! Look at me, go! God. Damn it. Him trying to kick himself repeatedly to have himself run, like, on air to keep himself airborne, it's the ultimate definition of frickin' try hard enough, you'll make it. <laughs> Just frickin' Oh! I hate this jump. Yeah, having all those friggin' sparks there definitely is not helpful. Oh yeah, the little sparks, that's right. The hotheads are the big ones. Yep. I think we'll see it later stages. I have it all come around officially till Mario World. Oh, this is nice. Nice and peaceful. Die for me. You gonna throw it? <laughs> or keep it. That's right! Oh, but... I kinda want that hard now. No, for some reason I thought there was gonna be a bird out. Nope, not yet. Here's our next boss! Hey, guess what? It's Bowser again. Starring hotheads. Yep, maybe we can kill him off though. It may be the same fight, however, he takes like. <gasps> he takes <gasps> four hits to kill down instead of three. As long as you're careful, though, it's still basically the same fight. Get rid of the friggin' <gasps> little... Ugh! Get rid of the little spark, here's this fight will be just as easy as it was before. Wow, he didn't take damage, that's fucked. Oh! I'm trying to remember, did they have Mauser in one of the Mario cartoons? I feel like they did. Probably. Not the first one. Oh! I thought they killed him, too! Right, I forgot, you never saw any of those, that's right. That was before my time. There are some people that like them, though. Especially the strong Brooklyn accent of Mario. Aha! You died in the aftermath! Uh-oh. <laughs> Blow up in the face and die. That would've been horrible. Well, there we go! World 3 conquered!